If the creation model is correct, there have never been intermediates between different groups of fish. They are not related, and so one did not evolve into the other. If the intelligent design model is correct, it is impossible for there to have been intermediate fish because it is impossible to have intermediate states of complexity. The major tenet of intelligent design is that of irreducible complexity. You must uh, be in one group or the other or have this set of adaptations or that, and it is impossible to slowly evolve a complex trait uh, or a complex lifestyle in steps. The fossil record, however, presents many fish which are intermediate in their complexity and transitional between one group and another, supporting the idea that groups can evolve and that complexity can evolve. For example, the first fish found in the fossil record were transitional forms. They were very primitive jawless fish. Uh, they still did not possess true teeth. There were many traits which they possessed far more primitive than any modern fish. The first sharks were very primitive sharks, still possessing a notochord and not having the vertebrae which modern sharks uh, possess. The acanthodians present us with a group of fish which were transitional between cartilaginous fish and the uh, more advanced bony fish. All of the early bony fish are transitional forms. They are not the modern teleost fish, but instead they possess a mosaic of anatomical features, mixing not only the more advanced features of the bony fish with features of the placoderms, acanthodians, and more primitive groups of fish. Among these primitive bony fish are transitional forms in the evolution of both the ray fin and lobe fin groups, uh, where the earliest uh, members could not clearly be identified in either of these two categories of bony fish. Perhaps the best example of transitional forms are in the sarcopterygian fish of the Devonian period. We see a group which slowly becomes more adapted to life on land. They develop lungs. The bones in their fins are homologous to the bones which will be present in the arms and legs of amphibians. They modify the positions of their eyes and nose and ear uh, so that it is homologous with the amphibians who are adapting their senses for life on land. In many ways, these uh, sarcopterygian fish of the late Devonian are more similar to the first amphibians than they are to any fish which is alive today. And so these fish offer a clear set of transitional forms which are intermediate in their complexity and intermediate in the lifestyles showing how the evolution of fish and tetrapods occurred.